Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my first look into my Tim Burton Disney Princess series and we are doing Ariel, obviously. I talked a lot about this on my Instagram. I'm going to be doing a whole series of Disney princesses and possibly villains as well um, in a Tim Burton theme. So first I'm covering my brows with my non-toxic glue stick, going back and forth through the brows to make sure every hair is covered, going through them with a spoolie to lay them down, letting them dry, and then setting them with my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. To color correct them and make sure that they look covered and no hairs are coming through and no color is coming through, I'm taking this peach um, cream paint basically and I'm putting that on top of the brow. And then I'm taking this neutral colored one and putting that right on top as well. We're going to be doing more foundation on top, but this is just a good way to color correct the brows. And then I also set them with some more powder. Looking crazy with no brows. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, as always. And I do a little bit extra after I cover my whole lid, I put some on my actual brow. That way the shadows blend easier because sometimes when you cover your brows and try to do eyeshadow, it gets all blotchy. So if you do a little bit of primer specifically for eyeshadow there, it'll help blend it a little bit easier. Then I'm taking my Editorial Sephora Pro Palette. I'm using these purple colors right here. I'm first using the lighter purple shade as my transition shade and I'm putting that all the way up to my eyebrow where my natural eyebrow is. And then I'm taking the darker purple shade and I'm putting that right into my crease and blending that up as well. And for the deepest shade, I did take it from the Anastasia Subculture Palette and I put it right into the crease. We want our eyes to look big and round. That is a signature Tim Burton look. So I'm taking my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Chantilly, which is the lightest and whitest shade, and I'm cutting my crease into a very round type of shape. And then I'm setting it with white eyeshadow. When you do a cut crease like this, make sure you get right up against those edges with the white shadow to set it so it doesn't crease onto your eyeshadow that you already did. Then I am priming my face with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy. For foundation, I'm using my Huda Beauty foundation. This is my most full coverage and lightest shade of foundation that I have. So I went in with that and a lot of it. And I went over those brows with it specifically because this foundation really helped cover them even more. Then I'm taking this white crayon from Ben 9 and putting it in my waterline. Again, we're going for that really round eye shape, so make sure you drag it down past your lash line quite a bit and make sure you're not doing such a cat eye shape. You really want it to be pretty round. And then I just did a little bit of concealer in some areas and set it with the same Ben Nye powder. I didn't do too much of it. Taking the dark purple shade from the Anastasia Subculture Palette, I'm just lining that lower lash line there from the inner to the outer corner. And for brows, I'm using this lip liner from Smashbox. It's in crimson. It's just a red shade. And I use this as my base for my brows, and I did that really sad kind of brow shape that a lot of Tim Burton's characters have, like the Corpse Bride and Victor. And then I took my Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in number five, and I just kind of went over that lightly to one, set them, and to also just deepen them a little bit so they weren't such a bright red shade. Then for liner, I'm taking my LA Splash Cosmetics Ultra Defined Wings Liner. It's just a gel liner, and I'm just really lining my lid. I'm not doing a cat eye shape. For Tim Burton characters, you do not want to do a cat eye shape. You really want to keep it pretty round for the eyes. And then I'm taking my Ben Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paint in black and my Liquiset. This is what I use with my Ben Nye paints. I don't use just water. Liquiset comes off way easier once you get in the shower as well if you're using that for your paints. I'm just lining that lower lash line and connecting it with my liner on the top. Still keeping that really round shape. And then I'm taking black shadow and going along the edges there and around the, really around the whole 
thing to make it look like that's my whole eyeball, basically. I'm just really smoking it out. Doing the inner corner as well, Tim Burton's characters typically have like bags underneath their eyes or their eyes look really sunken in, I guess, so you can really make that pretty dramatic on the lower lash line there and make it look like your eyes are very sunken in and deep. And then I'm doing the little lashes just with the black paint. And then lining that lower lash line one more time. I'm also lining the upper lid where we cut the crease and connecting everything all together. And then doing little marks. Um, they're just like detail marks basically to make that illusion of things being sunken in. Just to give a little extra detail to the look really. For lashes, I'm using these super cheap lashes that my little sister got in some makeup set. I'm not sure, but they're super PC and straight, and that's what I wanted for this look. And I just kind of positioned them more straight up than straight out. And then apply a little bit more mascara to blend them. And then I'm taking this Kat Von D basket case liner, and I'm just using that to blend together my lashes. Starting on the body paint, I'm using the same been Nye paint and I am creating my neck quite a bit smaller. Tim Burton's characters always have really really thin necks and I'm also cutting out some of my shoulders to make for a skinnier neck still. I also cut out my jawline. Tim Burton's characters tend to have very small pointy faces so I'm really trying to create that and I'm just cutting out the jaw area. I also put it on my ears just a tiny bit. For contouring, I'm using my Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D, and I'm doing a very hollowed out type of contour look. I'm doing it pretty thin, I'm not doing it as, you know, blended as I normally would either, and I'm bringing it down towards my jawline once it gets to my cheek piercings there to create that very hollowed out type of look. Tim Burton's characters typically are dead, I mean most of the time, not always. So you want to go for that type of look. I'm also shading in the neck area just a little bit with that contour shade. For the nose, it's very important to create a very thin, small little nose. So I am taking this oval brush that's super tiny and a cream contour. I'm using Anastasia's cream contour and I'm just really making my nose super, super skinny. Like as skinny as you can possibly get it. And I'm blending that up from where my fake eyebrows start down to the very tip of my nose. And I'm just using my finger to blend it out. You can use a beauty blender as well. And I'm making those little points, those little pointy nostrils with black paint. I'm also putting a bit of that contour shade on my um, Cupid's bow there to deepen it and blow my lips to make them look a little bit larger. Next, I'm outlining the seashell bra. I'm not going to show you guys all of this. This is obviously a full body paint. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the full thing, but I will show you what I can. So I'm just outlining with a lip liner pencil. Her seashell bras in the movie are actually sideways, but I decided to do them straight up this time. And I'm taking a very light lavender shade from the Bid Nye Fantasy Magic Cake palette. Just a super, super light lavender color. And I'm filling that all in. I'm then outlining that bra with the same black paint we've been using and a very, very small little brush. Then I'm shading in the areas where it's kind of sitting on top of each other with a black shadow to create that shadow that would naturally be there when something's sitting on top of something. And then I'm also creating some cleavage. I'm just using the same Kat Von D contour palette. And I'm using a lighter shade at first to create the shading and to make sure I get everything how I want it. And then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker shade right along the edges there. I'm 
also contouring my collarbones a lot to make for that really skinny kind of sickly look and going back in with my black paint to create those same lines that we did around the eyes so that everything matches and the chest matches the face Kind of like pop art or like kind of like a sketchy like a quick sketch kind of look I feel like I didn't want the lines to be absolutely perfect I wanted them to look a little messy and then I'm also shading that seashell bra that's laying on top of my skin so it looks like it's an actual article of clothing I also really cut out my waistline and made my waist look super skinny so when I stood in front of this black fabric and took pictures it looked like I had like the tiniest little waist ever. I'm taking some of that purple shade we used for the eyes and just putting it on the seashell bra a little bit to make everything look uniform and then I'm also taking this pro artist body art liner from LA Splash Cosmetics and highlighting some areas to just give it a little bit more dimension. I did it on my face and I also did it on my chest as well as my cleavage. I also did a little bit on the seashell bra as well on the opposite side of where I did the black shading with the eyeshadow. And for the last finishing touch, I am lining my lips with a plum colored lip pencil. I'm kind of replicating the way that Emily of the Corpse Bride's lips are very elongated and a little bit, um, She's got a very deep Cupid's bow, and then I'm taking my Fenty Beauty Stena Lip Paint, and I am filling in my lips with red. I also made them a little bit pointy on the edges there. And at last moment, I decided to do a little bit of highlighting. I'm using this Bitter Lace Beauty one, and I am using this one because it's named after something from The Little Mermaid. I forgot the name, but I will have it on the bottom of the screen. I'm just highlighting some areas like my collarbones, my shoulders, and I did a little bit on my cheekbones. But that's it for this look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this new series that I have coming out. Please let me know if any princesses you have in mind or any villains that you'd really love to see. I'm planning on doing quite a few for this series. Getting back into body painting, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.